Okay, everybody, we're going to do a quick little video here. This is a grafting experiment uh, with a soursop. This is a regular soursop seedling, the one that has that, that kind of a tag in there. This regular soursop seedling, and this is the new growth on the soursop, which is the, the regular rootstock. So that's a regular seedling soursop. And then up here where we have grafted it, you'll see... And it's growing nicely. Anyway, this guy is the Miami Soursop. And this is going on week number two, and it's doing very well. Now today, by the way, I made a bunch of those Miami Soursops, and uh, they're doing terrific. Now this one here, we just did this one. This is interesting. I, what I'm going to do here is I, I've created something that hopefully is going to work out good. Uh, I have two scions of the Soursop Miami. There's another Soursop Miami right here. So you got two. And then I have here, I found a really nice sugar apple that's seed grown. I've been growing uh, the thing for quite a while now. And I don't have a picture of the... Well, actually, I could probably show you the mother plant after I'm done with this. But this is a, a sugar apple. Um, I don't know what I'm going to name it. I, I, I put Peppy on there, but I'm not sure. We're, we're going to name it something. But this is a sugar apple grafted onto the soursop so if this all works out good you know i'll have a an interesting little fruit tree with uh soursop and sugar apple so we shall see what happens let me uh let me take you guys over just to show you the sugar apple tree all right so here we go this is my container sugar apple this guy um actually is not the one i've tasted i got um, i got confused this is not the one i've tasted this is actually a, a sugar apple that i've never tasted uh, and it's from a seed so I'm only grafting it on there because uh, it was what I had available and I want to see what happens uh, that doesn't mean I'm gonna name it so forget about naming it anything uh, we are going to taste this probably in about another 30 days it should be ready maybe even sooner and if the one thing about this particular uh, tree that I liked is that it already has some pretty nice fruit, good sized fruit. It actually had three, but it lost one. Uh, here's another one down here. And the coloring, I'm, I'm very curious if it's going to be kind of a purplish or a mauve color. So we will see. But yeah, it's holding on real, real, real well. Nice fruit here. I hope it tastes good. And if so, then we will then go ahead and actually name it something. So here we go. That's a container grown. Uh, it is a sugar apple tree. It's probably about seven and a half feet tall. Doing very, very nicely in a container. I have another one in the ground that has one, not one fruit that's much larger. I'll show you that one. All right, so here's the other sugar apple tree. This is not the one that I, that I grafted. This is another seed-grown sugar apple. It only produced one fruit. Uh, so, you know, I uh, didn't use any wood from this tree yet. I don't know if this is going to taste good either. And even though it's been in the ground, it's set a lot of, um, it's set a whole bunch of flowers. And I think this one, I actually hand pollinated this one. And I ended up with, I think, two small fruit and one fruit like this guy here, which is doing, doing good. He's almost ready. A couple of weeks probably will be ready to eat. So if we go around here and we look at the tree, we can see that it is in the ground and it's nice, nicely branched, looking very healthy, doing very well. But again, when you plant from seed, you know, we really don't know what we're going to get. So I'm going to assume it's probably going to be good because it came from a really nice sugar apple that I enjoyed eating. Uh, and the differences would be, for example, when you determine whether you're going to graft something is all of the really great features, right? Like, for example, it produces a lot of fruit. Uh, maybe multiple times a year. It's very disease resistant. The, the fruit tastes amazing. Um, good fruit set without having to worry about hand pollination. You know, you take all that into consideration before you start, you know, grafting and naming uh, fruit trees. Uh, trees doing great. Uh, it's in the ground. But surprisingly enough, as you saw earlier, we have a sugar apple tree that produced three fruit without any pollination at all uh, in terms of me pollinating it, no hand pollination. Uh, yet this one I had to do some hand pollination in order to get some fruit on it. Uh, so once again, all those things you take into consideration when you are going to finally decide if you're going to go ahead and graft uh, fruit trees. Now what I like to do is, I, 
you know, I've always wanted to talk about this, and I'm going to get off the subject for a minute, but we are talking about fruit and edibles, so let me bring you over to show you a, um, a grape, a muscadine grape. All right, so I know we're talking about muscadine grape, and I'm looking at katuk. So there's a katuk plant right here, and katuk is an edible leaf. It's used as a, as a vegetable. And if, if you look over here, you're going to see that fence, and wow, there you go. You can see the fence, and you can see the green wire that I have rigged up, and then right up above the katuk, wow, the lighting is terrible over here. Above the katuk, we have the grape vine growing, the muscadine grape. And what I usually do is I, I take the katuk and I trim it back quite a bit. I trim it a lot. I know it's kind of crazy because it's growing right next to the, the grapevine, but the idea is to try to squeeze in as much as you can in a logical way so that you can maximize the property and keep everybody happy, so to speak, including, the, uh, including me and the wife. Remember the wife. Don't forget the wife. All right, so as we get closer here, I'll show you. So I'm always trimming this. Got to trim it pretty soon again. And then if you, if you dig in here and you look into the, into the leaves, I think you could see right there. We've got some nice grapes going on over there. And then, let's see. Ah, okay, so there's some grapes over there. There's some grapes back there. Let's keep going. You can see the guys that are hanging out back in here. A couple of grapes back, ah. A couple of grapes back in there, okay? And then we have these guys. These were the first ones that flowered right here. And then as we move along, we'll see we have more over here. And we keep going across here. And there's probably a bunch on the other side, or at least a few on the other side. Those are for the neighbor. He's going to get a surprise because he doesn't even know this thing is here. He's a good guy. And he knows I have fruit trees, but I don't know if he's aware that he has free grapes. So as we come down this way, we're going to see our plant, and it's in the ground. And this thing is actually going on six years old. And it would have much, much, much more grapes than you see here if I had not trimmed it back profusely. And this thing was huge in the pot, and I went crazy trimming it. And I trimmed it, and I kind of trimmed a little bit too much, and I kind of trimmed in the wrong places. And what I mean by that is that every year you do have to trim it back. It goes dormant, and then you have to leave fruiting spurs okay and i'll explain all that on another video but i left very few uh fruiting spurs on the muscadine and as a result i got very little fruit but that's okay that's okay because this year after it's all done i'm going to be more diligent more careful and i'll explain in a future video what i mean by that so here if we come in a little bit closer i think you guys could see back there you got some more grapes there and there's actually some more flowering back there. I don't know if you can see those guys in the back. They're flowering as well. And guys, you know what? I have had no time to grab the camera, the good camera. This is on a cell phone. And I've had no time to set up the tripod and good, good lighting and all that. So I apologize if the quality is not good. You know, I hope you uh, benefit from what you just saw here in the video. And I'll do a couple of more of these impromptu quick videos whenever I have a chance. Guys, I really appreciate it, gals, guys and gals. I appreciate the fact you guys come and subscribe to my channel. Spread the word. Um, get out there, do some edible gardening. Uh, no matter how big or small your property is, there's always something you can grow. Once again, thank you for stopping by. If you like the channel, give us a like and uh, hit that little subscribe button. And also the notification, hit that little bell and you'll have updates every time we do a new video. Peace, everybody.